Okay, so things to like in your setup are the following. Club face is squared up behind the center of the ball, which you did every time. Grip, both hands are working together pretty much as a unit. Club and ball are forward in your stance, just slightly, but in a good position. Spine angle is great. Alignment of your body, feet, hips, and shoulders, for the most part, is lined up complementary to the club face position. It's just stance width is too wide. You can see with me to the right, you're much wider than shoulder wide. And you tend ten to, excuse me, on occasion, sit back on your heels and not remain in the middles of your feet for balance purposes. So, basically, better balance and not as wide in the width. As we take it back from the ball, now the club, that is. So the club goes back basically with your arms and hands initially. On a pretty good path, though, but your arms are taking the club back, and they're rising up your body. And you can see the top of your swing, your legs separate a little bit. See the daylight between your knees? Yeah. That's usually an indication that your arms have pulled everything back and unraveled. If we start with our shoulder, our left shoulder, and turn away with a good solid base, your legs will stay quieter, as you can see with me to the right. So less recovery required. From you in the top of your swing, you're going to have to bring the club down with your arms, reflex the right knee, clear the left hip, and square the club face through impact, which you do there, just tough to do that on a regular basis. So less moving parts, the better, and those positions that address will make it more effective in future.